sponsored by Route 66 Solar. 512 on this Monday morning, and uh, Nick, we were talking about how it was raining the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone at the station called it prime sleep weather, and I gotta, I gotta agree with that. Oh. It's, I feel like it's hard to stay awake and be productive when you have that cloudiness. And yeah. Especially at one point I remember hearing, and I was like, oh, wow, how hard is it raining out there? And I looked outside my it window. Was yeah. Coming down really heavy, Alexander. We talked about it several spots here. Uh, over three inches of rainfall. Uh, Champagne over three inches, three and a half there, Decatur. FM uh, over three and a half as well. So a lot of rain, as you said, it was good sleeping weather for you. So if you got that, uh, got home, got that nap going, boy, you're waking up maybe early, getting a look at this sun. Hey, there we go. There's a nice looking shot for us here on this early Wednesday morning as we've now hit double digits in July. It is the 10th and it is looking and feeling a little bit more like summer here today. You can get outside through this morning. Definitely going to be dealing with probably the mud, uh, some puddles out there certainly, but it is going to dry out a little bit here through the early afternoon. Now late afternoon, notice right there, some storm chances for you. Those will come back into play, but we are done with our flood watches for the most part. You can see we still have a couple of our extreme northeastern counties, but you got to get north of Rantoul for that. So the vast majority of us kind of cleaning up our flood issues, wind advisory for our far eastern counties there. That's it. There is not much going on now that barrel has pushed eastward here. We did see all those storm reports coming in. A lot of heavy rain reports, a lot of ponding on the roadways, but that seems to have gone down. I think we're getting back to normal here as this system is finally pushing off into Indiana. A couple of stray leftover showers behind it, but there's really not much going on for us this morning. And then you can see far back to the west, this little remnant here in Minnesota going to start to slide uh, eastward as well. By the time that arrives, then we get that next chance for a few thunderstorms. So you can see here this afternoon on the next weather maker, clear, looking great. This is your time to be outside right around lunchtime today. You can get that walk in, uh, grab the rain boots. That'd be my advice here. That'd be all you really need. And then by five o'clock, you're heading back inside because we get those pop up showers. Now, most of these showers and storms tonight, very isolated, not going to impact many. We wake up Thursday morning, better shot of seeing that rainfall. Now it slides by pretty quick. Thursday evening, kind of the same thing with a few spotty showers, but most of Thursday is looking much drier here even than today. Friday looks pretty good, and then Saturday morning, we'll get another shot of some morning rainfall. But for now, what it looks like, definitely cooler for the next two days. Enjoy it because the heat's coming back in. 60s here for us for tonight. Pretty much average temperatures with those scattered showers. More scattered thunderstorm chances tomorrow. You saw that. I think that's a little overblown on the next weather maker or on the uh, tomorrow's chart there. Excuse me. We will keep temperatures mild in those 80s. Warming up though, heading into the weekend. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.